Hey guys, what's up? It's Apostle from C Success Now, and in this video today, I'm going to teach you guys how I make $500 per day Shopify dropshipping in 2020, and this is literally step by step on how I'm doing this. So stay tuned. Alright guys, hey what's up? It's Apostle from C Success Now, and you heard it here today. I'm gonna to teach you guys how I make five hundred dollars per day Shopify drop shipping in 2020. And this is literally step by step on how I do this. Now, guys, I do want to tell you that um I'm literally gonna be showing you and taking you inside my business and showing you how I'm doing, you know, five hundred dollars plus per day with Shopify drop shipping, literally step by step on how you could how you can do this and how I'm doing it. And I'm gonna show you the mistakes that I have because trust me, it hasn't been an easy ride at all. I'm literally gonna be showing you exactly what I did in the mistakes and how I, you know, haven't really fully scaled this to the full potential that it deserves and just some of the things that are, you know, going on in this business, right? Now make sure you follow along and stay to the end of this video so you can fully understand how this method works because it's definitely worth your time and trust me guys e-commerce is booming right now and it's going to continue to boom so it's definitely a f if you're interested in this it's definitely a field that i definitely recommend now guys before we continue on I do, uh, I do want to show you guys my youtube channel right here this is called uh, c success now my channel but also guys make sure that you watch this video this was my previous video the um how i make 200 dollars per day this was literally um the beginning video that i made make sure you watch this one so you can fully be caught up and just know you know uh you know all the different sides what uh what happened with this store that i'm running so if you uh, haven't watched this video uh if you haven't watched this video already i definitely recommend that you watch this one first also guys you know hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy making money online videos subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff and yeah without further ado let's get started in the video today all right guys so you know let's start it off at may 10th right so i i believe we left off at like may 8th or something like that i forgot i don't know which day we left off but guys basically we're gonna start off at may 10th because this is where i was really starting to boost up and sc uh, scale this store a little bit you know little by little right and as you can see right here i'm doing you know like currently 550 dollars total in sales and i do want to tell you that the profit margins on this was th literally over 30 percent so this was extremely extremely a profitable day and if you don't know guys for e-commerce that is completely amazing trust me that is you know absolutely something that you definitely want to accomplish with e-commerce and i do want to tell you guys that all i have literally is just different bundles but i do want to i haven't used any you know different uh you know frequently bought together uh packages or even different upsells i haven't used yet so i do plan on using that later on but guys i do want to tell you you know some of the downfalls with this i'll tell you that a little later on in the video but as you can see right here i had you know 555 dollars and 74 cents the total you know online store sessions right there um as you can see right here the conversion rate was three point you know 97 percent you know the average order value right there 23 dollars and you know 25 orders right so this was a very profitable day this this is literally you know one of my best days right literally well literally the best day right now the thing what happened you know the next day in the you know the next next days well the continued days that i'm going to show you on later on i do want to tell you guys that i rushed into a lot of different things and that's what i shouldn't have done and i'm going to explain this more in detail later on in the video but let's let me show you exactly what's going on right so this was the 10th right so let's go on to the 11th now i made 500 dollars on the 11th right so this was good too i made like you know 30 percent profit margin so this was really good too now this one was a little bit down i was trying out different things i was trying out different scaling strategies and you know it, it it's just a lot of things happen guys like i said i'm not an expert expert i'm getting there but like i was trying out different scaling strategies i already have the basics down i already understand facebook ads if you watched my previous video i already understand a lot of different things about facebook ads and trust me guys there's a lot to know about facebook ads ads but like I said, guys, I was trying all different scaling strategies and trying to see which one works best. And I'm going to tell you why this literally, like, literally messed up some of my ad sets completely bad. It was a lot of things happened, man. A lot of things. But as you can see right here, we made $509, you know, in this day. And then, you know, over 592 sessions, right? And then, you know, 569 visitors. And as you can see right here, the average order value was $24. I believe it was an extra dollar more. What was the other one? yeah it was an extra dollar more so like i said so the average order value was a little bit higher right 
and then we had 21 orders though and then uh you know the conversion right here right here so guys like i said this was a really good day too but I was testing out different things and it really ruined my ad sets and I'm going to explain exactly what that like why that happened. Now, like I said guys, that was the day when I was trying out a whole bunch of stuff and I was rushing it. That's the main problem that I have with this store. I need to take my time even with scaling, you have to take your time with scaling guys. Make sure you do this, uh, you know, learn from my mistakes guys, you know, so you, you know, can figure it out yourself too. Like I said, I ruined some ad sets and then I had to literally cut some ad sets off um off and just you know just a lot of things happen man a lot of things and i'm at like 300 dollars, right this was like yesterday the 12th and this is i mean well close to 400 dollars. so this is still good this is still really good so like i said guys all i care like the whole point of drop shipping right and even seeing sales sales like this the whole point is you know profit margins right so at the end of the day we want to make money we want to have a good profit margin we want to continuously make money right so we want to do that on a consistent basis right and that's what a lot of beginners don't understand you know they see the numbers they see like five hundred dollars a day you know two thousand dollars a day but you know like i said in my previous video let's say you know a person made a million dollars in a year but their profit margin was like you know ten percent so they made like a hundred thousand or something in you know profit but let's say that person made another person made five hundred thousand dollars in a year but the profit margin was like 30 percent so he made like you know uh i believe 151 i mean 150 000 or something like that you get the point he would have more money so like i said it's all about profit margins but if you're scaling on a certain high uh you know if you're scaling really high up like you know nike and amazon and all that stuff well that's different but you know not every company is like that so like i said guys you really have to just think about that so you know who made the more money who made more money and profit and just all that good stuff guys so that's why i want to keep these really um you know really consistent right so i could keep doing 500 dollars a day but my profit margins will be a lot lower a lot lower so i really want to keep this consistent but also you know bring the most value to uh, you know the store right so like i said guys yeah, this was yesterday. So today, um, today I had to, you know, cut a lot of ad sets and stuff. And today is still going, right? So like I said, I had a bunch of roadblocks. And, you know, these were still really good days. It, it wasn't c completely bad, but I definitely, you know, had to, you know, a little, like, fall back a little bit and just recuperate and just, you know, set some things right. And I'm going to really explain this, you know, in the next slide. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so I'm going to explain to you exactly what happened and what was what went wrong through this through the process of, you know, from part one of this video to, you know, part two right now. So basically, guys, it was scaling, you know, in short, it was scaling, right? It was scaling, it was scaling, it was scaling. And I was trying out different strategies. I was looking up different ways. I was talking to some different people that, you know, have, you know, a lot more experience with drop shipping and all that good stuff. And I want to tell you, like, it's not that the scaling strategies didn't work. It's just that it killed and it it affected my ad sets that was working and it just messed them up completely like that's exactly what happened like it just messed up the other ad sets that were really working so i'm going to explain exactly what i should have done and just what some things that messed up uh you know messed me up right so scaling right so like i said i wasn't scaling by duplicating different ad sets i don't i don't really recommend that anymore because i never had success really duplicating different ad sets and just duplicating like you know um let's say you duplicate an ad set like double the budget and you duplicate it like four or five times or even three times or something and you just find the one that works the best and you keep those on for me that strategy hasn't worked at all um i feel like i don't know it just hasn't worked at all there's different ways to you know scale better i feel like and duplicating you know multiple ads is just du duplicating over and over again and just you know duplicating like three at a time basically just keeping everything the same but just increasing the budget and keeping that budget at like like i said just uh let's say you had a ad set that was at ten dollars and you duplicated it at like twenty dollars but you made three duplicates at twenty dollars and you would see which one performs the best right so yeah that's one of the scaling strategies that never worked for me in the past or even right now so i didn't try that one again i well i did try it uh you know before but like i said i'm not trying it again anytime soon so the main scaling strategies that i tried was cbo scaling cbo scaling and you know ad set budget scaling all right so adjet ad set budget 
you know, scaling right. So, like I said, guys, CBO scaling and ad set budget, I you know, these are probably the best ways to scale these two right here. Now, I'm going to explain what went wrong for my, you know, ad sets and what happened. Now, I'm going to tell you a number of different reasons. You guys take this however you, you know, want and apply it to, you know, your store that you have in the future. Because trust me, guys, this is definitely valuable information and you can learn from this. So, what happened? So, I had ad sets that were running really, really good really good right so they were doing profitable you know had great profit margins right the ROAS on them was like over four dollars right so you know four dollars and five dollars and I, I had them on for like one to two days right one to two days just testing them out and like I said um I had them on like for one to two days and then what happened was I tried doing CBO scaling so I kept those ad sets on and then I tried doing CBO scaling and I basically duplicated my winning ad sets that were working in my ad set budget campaign and I duplicated them in a CBO you know campaign and basically guys what I did I set the budget for like a hundred dollars at the CBO campaign and um I started you know setting the ad set up for the next day right at you know 12 a.m and basically guys what happened was it basically killed you know my ad sets but it also kind of worked for in the cbo campaign and i'm going to explain why this happened what i believe why this happened because what happened it's it's a lot of different factors that apply into this right so my cpm went higher on literally both ad sets so the cpm that i had in the cbo scaling campaign um that one it went a little bit higher but the ad set budget one increased by a lot for one of them it was weird now like i said guys i understand why this happened is because my targeting was probably uh, it was probably because my targeting was under like a million or a little bit over a million so if you're targeting like between eight hundred thousand and like five million or even less than that you uh, doing cbo scaling is probably not the best method i feel like it has to be more of a broader audience or maybe like 5 million and up like 5 million to you know 15 million or something that's what i realize now that may be one of the factors now it will it possibly definitely is now i do want to talk about another thing my cpm went up and it basically killed my ad set that was working pretty good on the ad set budget campaign right so it was working kind of for the CBO campaign, but like I said, having them both on at the same time was, you know, increasing the CPM and it was performing a lot less guys. So it's either, if you're doing a CBO campaign, I realized that you should probably either turn off your ad set budget campaign or ad set budget, uh, ad set that's winning and just let it flow in the CBO campaign just to scale it. Now I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm, I'm going to go to the other scaling strategy now. You know, I'm not doing CBO scaling for, for now, at least anymore. I should have, this is what I should have did. And this is what I was thinking. I was debating which one I should do. Should I do CBO scaling or ad set budget, you know, level scaling, right? And I realized that I should have probably just increased the budget on the ad set. Now, a lot of people don't tell you to do this, but if you have a profitable, you know, ROAS that is like $4, $3, $4, if you increase that budget, at midnight and just increases it at midnight it will continue to work for you it doesn't really affect the ad set now i suggest that you do this every two to three days like i said you don't want to rush this that's also like i said uh you know what happened to me i was literally trying to you know try out different things every other day and then i was you know trying to increase the budget also on the ad set level so i forgot to mention that so when i did cbo scaling right i did that and then the very next day, I increased the budget on my ad sets that was, you know, winning before I really did the CBO scaling, if that makes sense. So just rewind the video if you didn't really catch that. But like I said, guys, I increased the budget on my ad set budget, you know, uh, campaign. I mean, ad set budget in the ad set budget campaign. And basically what that did was I increased that and it made my CPM higher. And basically I had two ad sets that were, you know, having pretty high budgets and, you can't really do that. I realized that you can only do really just one or the other with CBO scaling or with ad set budget, uh, ad set budget increase. So this is what I'm going to do now. And this is what I've seen from other people. And there's different strategies that people do. They do CBO scaling and they do this and that I'm going to do ad set budget scaling for now on, at least if I have a profitable ad set and I see it's profitable, 
I'm just going to increase the budget every like two to three days. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And if I did that, I'm telling you right now, I would have probably been making at least 700 to $800 right now literally every single day maybe even a thousand dollars a day i'm serious because my my ad sets were so profitable they were like literally like six dollars like even seven dollars i'm not joking around like they were really profitable when i did this you know in back-to-back -back days but like i said you want to let them fully optimize especially with an ad set budget you know you know uh campaign you want to let them fully opt uh, optimize right and a lot of you guys, if you're very new, you're probably wondering, why did I do a CBO scaling campaign? I did that because I felt like it was better because just different things, right? There, it, CBO scaling campaign have, you know, different benefits. Basically, guys, I want you to know that when you're using a CBO scaling campaign, you can increase the budget and it won't really affect the ad sets and they won't really, you know, restart. You know, so it, it, it stabilizes the ad set a lot better when you're doing CBO scaling. And you can increase the budget without, you know, minimum effect, right? So that's what my thought process was, uh, you know, going into CBO scaling. And like I said, it does work, but it, it really messed up my ad sets. It really, it really did. And now I did have some profitable ad sets, you know, one day with CBO scaling. It was decent. But like I said, it really killed my other two ad sets that were performing incredibly good. So, yeah, it's just something to think about, guys. Definitely something to think about. And CBO scaling is, you know, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. So, like I said, guys, I'm just going to try out ad set budget increase. I definitely, I recommend this, you know, you, for, for you or anyone else, guys, just do a bunch of research. Like, that's the thing with, like, Facebook ads in general. You have to do a lot of research and just test and see what uh, works best for you, but also just for your store or whatever. Now, like I said, guys, this this i i believe that cbo scaling would have worked a lot better if my audience audience size was like a lot bigger it was probably over like five million the interest level or something if it was a lot bigger but it was at least like i said it was like barely over a million so it was a lot different right so like i said guys if you want to scale with cbo campaign um you want to make sure that you have uh, you know either you shut off your other ad sets in your ad set budget campaign or you uh have a bigger audience right so like i said i believe that's the way to do this successfully that's what i've noticed and that's what made my cpm increase by a lot but then i turned off some of those ad sets and my cpm dropped again so definitely guys it yeah definitely definitely take this information and apply it to your store because like i said guys once i turned off some of those ad sets and I didn't have both of them running at the same time and doubling the budget both at the same time. Uh, you know, I turned off the other two and basically my CPM went a lot lower so I could reach, you know, a lot more, you know, people. And, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. So that's what I've noticed. I'm not going to be doing CBO scaling campaign because I'm not familiar with it. I'm not too good at it yet. I'm not saying that is bad. I'm not saying that these different strategies are bad. All I'm saying is that I'm going to stick to ad set budget scaling and increasing the budget because that has worked for me. And that's the most success that I've seen with scaling. And I've seen other people do this. Other people that have successful channels, they have done CBO scaling and they have done ad set budget level scaling and they have increased the budget and all that. So like I said, guys, it does work. You just have to, you have to know when to increase the budget and keep it at that consistent mark and know when you shouldn't increase it anymore when you see the ROAS dropping a little bit, a little bit, you know, and a little bit more. So it's just different things, you know, that you just have to, you know, take with this, right? So basically that is what happened. I don't, also guys, I do want to rec uh, that you try out, you know, duplicating different asset budgets for scaling too. If you, you know, uh, if you want to try that out, like I said, that hasn't worked for me. I haven't seen too many people, you know, recommending that really anymore. Um, well, there's still people that still recommend it, but it hasn't been working for me at all. I may try it again later on in the future, but it was just wasting my money. Yeah, it was literally just eating through my money. It was crazy. But like I said, guys, 
this was the strategy that i did for my scaling literally the the main trouble that i had with scaling also guys i do want to talk about that I, i'm not with aliexpress anymore i do want to tell you guys that i went with cj drop shipping so i can get faster shipping times and i can get my packages out to my customers a lot faster so i definitely rec uh, i definitely recommend that you try out cj drop shipping or find uh, some type of agent to get you faster shipping and so you can just get faster shipping because that's literally the main problem with drop shipping is that the shipping times are super super long even if you're doing aliexpress uh, standard shipping on you know aliexpress i still recommend that you try you know um cj drop shipping because a lot of the time aliexpress they don't you know have you know tracking numbers there's too many delays so many things are going wrong especially in aliexpress so like i said try out cj drop shipping it's a pretty it's pretty good so far it's been working i'm getting like five to uh 15 day shipping times especially during what's going on right now is extremely extremely good so i do recommend that Alright, but I also do want to tell you guys that I uh, the customer service hasn't been bad at all. You know, surprisingly, a lot of people talk about Shopify dropshipping, the customer service, how it's like super bad. I feel like as long as you have, pr pr like most of it, you know revolves around shipping times as long as you do that the right way it should be okay for the most part but like i said i've been doing like 15 to 20 orders a day and i haven't had too many problems at all just just you know everything's been running pretty smoothly so far at least for now which i'm glad about i switched from aliexpress to you know cj dropshipping which is a lot better aliexpress you know kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie and the shipping times are long and you know they're still they still haven't gave out tracking orders to my customers a lot of uh, you know you know a lot of uh you know tracking orders haven't been given out and just you know the shipping times are extremely long even if you're doing aliexpress standard shipping especially right now but also guys i do want to tell you that i plan uh, to implement email marketing later on i just wanted to make sure i got this scaling down like i said guys i i do plan on implementing this stuff but i didn't know if i could really take this store to the next level like i said guys this is this is a really good store that i have but i'm trying to you know scale it but it's just that there's so many things going on but i do plan on implementing email marketing definitely um uh what else i should have some more upsells coming in i have you know different uh offers you know coming in right now i have different things uh with you know different uh frequently bought together things you know what they show on amazon right so i have different uh, packages coming in like that and i plan on using that just to you know boost up the revenue and just give me more um you know basically just make uh, more profit and just more revenue right so email marketing definitely in the future if everything goes smoothly as i want also guys i do want to tell you that i plan on using google ads i haven't even used google ads yet like i said i do plan on using google ads because i still believe that this could be really profitable with google ads i do plan on using that so the next video hopefully by the next video i'm making like two thousand dollars a day maybe one to two thousand dollars a day with like 30 percent profit margins you know making $600 a day in profit or something like that if I'm doing like $2,000 a day or whatever. So like I said, guys, this is the whole plan right here that I plan on doing. And this is what, yeah, basically this is just this strategy. Like I said, guys, make sure you guys watch the first video because I had a lot of problems in the first video and I covered a lot more stuff with Facebook ads. But this, I basically just covered the scaling strategy that i did and that was it because there's so much there's so many other factors in facebook ads oh yeah i do want to tell you that i did implement retargeting and all that stuff and um different things like that i haven't done lookalike audiences yet i do plan on using lookalike audiences i have got you know 100 orders and you know over 100 different uh you know transactions on you know different categories like add to cart um you know view content and all that good stuff so if you don't know uh what lookalike audience lookalike audience is if you didn't get what i uh just said right there basically what lookalike audience is to use lookalike audiences on facebook you need to have like 100 different actions on you know different categories like add to cart initiate checkout 100 uh initiate checkout so you have to have 100 something on each different category like i said to do lookalike audiences right or, or something like that but basically guys i do plan on using lookalike audiences uh really soon um like i said i just want more orders because the more orders that you have uh the better that uh, your lookalike audiences are gonna you know perform so i plan on doing lookalike audience soon and basically, yeah, this is the whole strategy uh, strategy that I plan on doing right now. Um, this is exactly what's going on. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, guys, e-commerce is huge right now. As you can see right here, I've been really profitable. My conversion rate has literally been over, you know, 3%, sometimes even 4% on some days. So it's been really profitable. 
um but basically guys if you made it to the end of the video i really do appreciate it um you know uh like i said guys hit the thumbs up button if you want to if you want me to make more shopify dropshipping videos i do plan on making more shopify uh, dropshipping videos i do plan on you know showing you guys more insight you know in my business right if you want to see more stuff like that but basically yeah this is the whole video right here guys um that's why i've been gone for you know a couple of days you know three four days and all that because you know i've been you know working on different things but like i said guys you know i hope you enjoy this video and i'll talk to you or see you in the next one peace